Hello students. Right now we are going to check the program for linear regression. Now what is linear regression? The formulas which we have used in linear, which we are going to use in linear regression and that already you know in a theory class. So here we have taken x and y. We have taken the addition of x, the addition sum of x and sum of y. Then we have taken total of x and y and then we have taken the square of x then we have calculated m we have calculated c and depending upon value of uh, x4 uh, 450 what will be the new value of y here if the given data is a proper then only we will get the proper value to check whether given data is proper or not we have to calculate value of r square and if that value of r square is nearer to 1 the data which we have this data is a proper and if it's towards the zero the data which we have is not a proper that is not in a linear format if it is in linear format then we will get the correct answer if it is not in linear format then we will get a wrong answer now this is the step by step without using any facilities provided by the python program this we are writing on our own now check this first now this is we are trying to find out the whether our data is in linear regression or not whether it is there in a straight line or not now here the line which cuts on y axis is called as a c that is interaction with y and this slope of the line is called as a m and line we form with the help of y means value of y we can get with the help of m into x plus c so this in this indi indicates so here value of y depends upon m and c if for the given value of x so we have to calculate m and c and that is calculated over here using the formulas which you have learned now if we run this program okay so this is i have printed the value sum of x sum of y sum into y addition of y the basically this is interest rate okay so here the value of m that is slope is 0 0.065 and value of c where it interacts is 0 0.0456 and if for the value 700 check here sorry here uh, it must be 450 because we are taking for 450 so now if you run this again sorry for this okay so if value of x is 450 it is 29.75 if you change this value and if you want to take this as a what you can do is new x so whatever value of new x it will be printed here instead of hard coding it as a 450 and 700 so for 700 value is 46.02 now this is what the program which we have written now in python we will get ready-made programs also and to get the ready-made program or the ready-made linear regression we have to use sklearn that is scikit-learn okay so for this program we need to install this to install this go to the start then go to the cmd run this cmd and here you use pip install a scalar it is already i have installed so it won't install it it just gives it is already installed okay the requisite already satisfied now after this the most important thing that if you want to use this go to the file menu then settings in settings click on this and here you give a scalar now sklearn already i have installed it so you select this and click on install package it will install it and it will appear over here i have already installed it if you have not installed this and if you have not done this it won't use it won't allow you to use this this will generate error okay 
so now next part is we have to give x and y now this is what it is given in uh, your attachment which we have sent you you can use this or you can use it like this just like in previous example we have used this np dot array that's why same thing i have used here the only thing is i have used reshape because here this linear regression the ready-made program it takes number of arrows or number of rows with single column in our previous example what we have done here is we have taken a single row with multiple columns because we are writing the program we know how to work it but here now this linear regression program which is given by the scikit learn it works on multiple rows single column so this data i have converted into the multiple rows single column this reshape is a ready-made facility provided in numpy so we are preparing x and y like this single element with single multiple rows with single elements and this is given now this linear regression is a ready-made program so we are calling this linear regression program with value of x and y we are transferring value of x and y so that it will return us the linear regression now with this linear regression we are trying to get coefficient that is scope uh, slope sorry slope of the line and this it gives you the interaction with y and then we are trying to find out the value here now we have already here 700 so i will make here 700 and here also 700 just this needs a single parameter okay and this must be a single row that's why it is given like this okay now run this and check what answer it gives you okay now this is what it has given okay for 700 it is 46.025 which we have checked previously now i have added this extra part for your reference okay i have added this extra part for your reference that is this value of x with this value of y this value of x with this value of y that is what what we have given and here we are asking linear regression to predict the value of y for each x that what x we have taken here this is what we are assuming and we are trying to predict this value of yp from linear regression and that values i am printing i am printing value of x what value we have taken and what value is predicted by the machine and those values are here for 816 we have considered value 60 the but proper value is 57 820 value of y is 50 but proper value is 53 it must be a 53 depending upon this interaction that is value of c and, and, and m depending upon that value of c and m if we calculate for given value of x the value of x must be this by the formula and this is 60 like this now to check this i have added extra here now first check this we are trying to plot x and y this is our x and y what we have taken okay okay it gives you like this our x and y okay then this is our x and y this is x and predicted value of y by linear regression so if i run this again okay check this this is predicted values of y correct exact values and this is our values now we try to put the line this plots the line okay scatter means it just puts the point plot means it draws the line between the points run this okay yes this is a line these are actual points exact points and this is what points which we have given now depending upon the difference between the point and the line okay it calculates the value of m and value of c now value of 
C is nothing but where the line interacts to the y axis. Now if we check this, now this gives you facility to move this. Now if I move this to check whether it interacts, where it interacts, now here it interacts it. Okay. Now if you check the interaction point, the interaction point is near about 34 something. And what our program is giving? Interaction point is 0 0.05. But here you check the value of x. The value of x is 500. Okay. Actually, when value of x is 0, the line where it interacts with the y column, that is the C point. And here in our diagram, this is 500. So like this. So if you check this, the line goes like this. Okay. Line goes like this. Then where it interacts with the y, when value of x is 0, that point is your this. Okay. So this is how we will check whether it is working perfectly. If we click on this, it will give you the original. And this is for moving. And this is for zoom in and zoom out. Like this. And this comes back to the home. Okay. Now you check this linear regression, LR step by step and linear regression. In next video, I will discuss about the logistic regression. Thank you.